Welcome to our tutorial about the Redim Preserve Statement. In our previous tutorial, we learned about how a dynamic array works. The dynamic array has one potential problem. When you reinitialize a dynamic array with a Redim Statement, the values that the array stores get lost. There's a way to solve this problem. We use the Preserve Statement. So, what the preserve statement does is preserve data that's already in an array. Let's see how it works in this tutorial. We need to modify our code a little bit first. Let's create one more variable. I'll call it variable j. And let's create another for loop. Paste it here. Next, let's indent the code inside this loop so it's easier to read. So here, j equals 1 to 2. Let's replace default entry with the values stored in the element of the array. Lastly here, let's reset the variable result to empty string before our second loop runs. All right, let's review how the logic of our script works so far. At the first run of the for loop, we specify the size of our array. The next for loop initiates the array elements with a value. In the next for loop, the value is retrieved. And in the last step, the value is displayed in a message box. In the second run of the for loop, the value will be reinitiated. The value stored in the array will be preserved. When we run the second for loop, the value will display in an input box. At this point, the user has the option to leave this value unchanged or to replace it with a new value. Lastly, the values retrieved from the array and displayed in a message box. OK, let's see how it works. Please specify array size. Let's enter 3 and click OK. Value 1, 10. OK. Value 2, 20. Click OK. Value 3, 30. And here's the message box. It displays the values stored in the array. Let's click OK. Let's reinitialize the array. 4, OK. Value 1 will be 10. OK. Let's replace the value stored in element 2 with 22. OK. And we'll replace the value stored in element 3 with 33. For value 4, we'll enter 40 and click OK. And here's our result. Let's click OK and get back to our code. One more thing I want to mention here. If you're working with a multi-dimensional array, you can still use the redim and preserve statements. So for example, with a 3D array, let's say A, open and close parentheses, 3, comma, 3, comma, 3 and you use the redim preserve statements, you can only expand the size of the third dimension. Try it out and see how it works. This concludes our tutorial about the redim preserve statement.